Reducing a fraction means finding whole numbers called common divisors or common factors that divide evenly into both the numerator and denominator of the fraction. Let's take a look at reducing fractions to lowest terms. When a fraction has been reduced to the point when there is no common divisors left other than one, it is said to be reduced to lowest terms. The largest number that is a common divisor of a fraction is known as the greatest common divisor. It reduces the fraction to the lowest terms in one step. Reducing fractions by inspection or observation is often a trial and error procedure. Sometimes a fraction's common divisors are obvious, other times they may be more difficult to determine. The following rules of divisibility might be helpful to you. Take a look. Let's use observation and the rules of divisibility you just saw to reduce 48 to lowest terms. Because the last digit of the numerator is 8 and the last digit of the denominator is 4, they're both divisible by 2. Because the sum of the digits of the numerator 2 plus 4 and the denominator 2 plus 7 are both divisible by 3, then the fraction is divisible by 3. Because no numbers other than 1 divide evenly into the new fraction 8, it's now reduced to lowest terms. The best method for reducing a fraction to lowest terms is to divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common divisor because this accomplishes the task in one simple step. When the greatest common divisor is not obvious to you, use the following steps to determine it. Here are the steps for determining the greatest common divisor of a fraction. Step 1. Divide the numerator of the fraction into the denominator. Step 2. Examine the remainder. If it's 0, stop. It's the greatest common divisor. If the answer is 1, stop. The fraction cannot be reduced. If it's another number, divide the remainder into the divisor. Step 3. Repeat step 2 as needed.